to the deep. Somebody de desire uh, deliverance. Somebody desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you are not desire in the speaking tongue,
we thank God for such a wonderful grace that He has given unto us. On behalf of my colleagues, we give praise and adoration to our Lord. Also, we thank our national head, our area head, our pastors, and the national executive for providing this opportunity unto us. This was a very great opportunity. And I know that whatever we have learned and the purpose while we went there, I know by God's grace is going to be fulfilled. All that we ask next, next time, please, let us go with our wives. And also, this one of our lectures, uh, Lecture John. So, will you wave your hand and say, Because. And also, our mother, may God. Amen. 
was born long ago in a manger. He came to us as son of man. He came to us as God had planned. John the Baptist came to say, the one who is greater than he is on his way. The rabbi, the Christ, the Messiah is here. Pray and rejoice for he is here. Pray that his love in your heart remain sound. Only through Jesus may God be found. Jesus our Savior accepted his death. Through many temptations he knew it was best. God has sent him to complete the task. He can only do what God had asked. If you believe in Jesus Christ our Lord, by faith and by grace, eternal life will be yours. Don't forget these words I say, Jesus our Lord is the only way. Amen. There was a morn, a glorious morn, when Jesus Christ rose over the sculpture of the rock, a victor on his foes. There was an hour, a blended hour, when Christ rose my soul to break the bonds of Satan's mighty and all my life control. Amen. Resurrection war, oh love, oh resurrection joy. Oh, life of God became Christ, our risen Lord, the victory over death and guilt and sin. Amen. Resurrection morn. Ah, look not back upon the tomb. Rise with thy Lord today. Receive him in thy heart as well. With life, the life, the truth, and the way. Amen. resurrection changed Mary from a mortar into a messenger. It changed Thomas from a flatter into a believer. It changed Peter from a denier. It changed Peter from a denier into a preacher. And it changed Paul from a persecutor into a missionary. For early Christians, the Easter event became an Easter experience. A life-changing, life-cleansing, transforming experience. Today, 2,000 years later, that Easter event is still the greatest, the greatest hope in the world of fear and confusion. Amen.